My name is Christina Johnson. I went to undergraduate and graduate school at Stanford University. And then after I graduated, I did a postdoc in Ireland, Trinity College, Dublin, in applied physics, which was fabulous. Ultra fast lasers. I love to see light. And then I came back to the University of Colorado Boulder, where I was on faculty for 14 years, mostly studying liquid crystals and displays. And I just really thought that it was magic. And then I ended up uh, going to Duke University to be Dean of Engineering, which was fabulous to get an array of all the kinds of engineering and engineers that one could be, and then was provost at Johns Hopkins, which was also a terrific opportunity. And then when President Obama was elected, I had the opportunity to serve my country as Undersecretary of Energy, and really thinking about how we can get to an energy mix that would clean the environment, clean the air, and really preserve the globe for the future. I do love being an engineer. It's a fascinating career and it's also a good paying career and it's important to help others. So I would like to share that with the rest of the world. Well, My advice to a young person who wants to make an impact on the world is to study engineering no matter what field you go into. It's just a logical approach to life. Engineering is about solving problems. Everybody's got problems. So you can be very useful to the world if you can learn how to apply a certain approach to solving a problem. And I always think about an engineer as thinking about the big picture. And then breaking it down into the little pieces that need to be solved and then reassembling the picture. So I, th I love engineering. I'm very passionate about more women and underrepresented minorities. And we have big problems, and they're global problems, and we need all the help we can get. Women recognize that through engineering, they can contribute to society in a very real way. And a study by the National Science Foundation has shown that when women can align their avocation with their vocation, and their avocation to help others with their vocation or their career to help others through engineering, they stay in engineering. So I think it's linking engineering with real society problems which will draw more women into the field. Often we don't recognize that we're all leaders and it's just one moment when you, you sort of realize, okay, I, I'm leading now or, or there needs to be someone to lead. Maybe when I realized that I was in the background and that by putting the right people together and providing them resources, that it's enabling others to do great things. I think that was the moment that I recognized what leadership was. Well, I think the major challenges in the energy sector, if we're going to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, which I believe are leading to global climate change, is the first is we need to manage our demand. So we need to reduce the amount of energy we use. So the program that I saw at AIT with regard to the energy net zero or even net positive energy building across the street is fabulous. So they've reduced the energy use by 80% over a traditional commercial building. That's terrific. The second piece is to decarbonize the generation of electricity. The third piece is then to electrify our transportation sector. So migration from non-electrical vehicle to electric vehicles, hybrid vehicles is critical. Then for heavy duty transportation and for flying, do a fuel switching between petroleum-based fuels to bio-based fuels. And the last piece, which I see AIT also as a leader in, is the smart grid. So those are the five easy pieces, if you will, of an energy policy that'll get us to 80% clean electricity by 2035. The Austrian Institute of Technology, I think is very well set up to make a major impact in the world. And the reason why is it's very strategically planned. So you have these five different areas and these five areas mean that you'll have critical mass in energy, in mobility, in safety, security, health, and the environment, and policy. And it's so cleanly organized and it's so 
what's important in leadership is to have a mission that people can remember. I haven't been here very long, and I know the, the mission. So I'm really looking forward to hopefully being able to work together with AIT and also to see what the future is going to be and how it's going to be better based on the work at AIT. Thank you.